Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host Shikama. You know, over the uh, over the years, I've done videos about women, and invariably, of course, when I'm doing a video about a woman or about women, uh, I come across stuff that certain groups who lobby, quote unquote, for women want stuff that they want stuff laws that they want to and i i keep i kept thinking it was in the united states but of course logically speaking the united states is not the only country in fact the united states doesn't actually institute probably 90 percent of uh, the things that these groups want now i kept running across videos of guys with funny accents talking about laws that have been implemented. And I'm not talking about Canada. I'm talking about Australia. Australia, what's wrong with you? What is wrong? I mean, you have businesses that can charge men an extra 15% an extra 15% just for being man. I finally figured out it's from Australia. It's from Australia, 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 and New Zealand. It is the bastion of these lobbyist group for women. Why on earth would you all allow this? And I'm not talking about we're talking about equality or anything like that. I'm talking about out and out war against men stuff against men laws against men just outrageous and blatant stuff against men and it's from australia and new zealand i had no idea the breadth and width and the depth to how far it's fallen and then i started looking at the demographics and i said well how could this really be well how this this could really be is because there is a deficit a huge deficit of men in those areas and and women are wanting not only to not just date men they have this inflated ego inflated self image of themselves that I want a man to be this tall and he's got to make this much money and he's got to be this good looking and he's got to have these many muscles when in fact they don't bring anything to the table. Why do I say they don't bring anything to the table? Because then on the other side you have the pickup artists who scope out entire countries at a time. And they will say this is the best country outside the United States, right? This is the best country to go pick up women. They're better looking, they're easier, you're going to get along with them. And so Australia and New Zealand are on the uh, chubby side as far as women go. So, and for those of you, you women who want to talk about, well, chubby, is, I like myself, chubby, here's the, here's the fact of the matter. When you have an overabundance of body fat, there is a risk of you not carrying children, point blank. Who cares about you? The impetus, the instinct, the whole raison d'etre of, of a man and a woman is to procreate and to produce children. On a visceral level, if a man looks at a woman and she's overweight, subconsciously the subconscious tells the man no that is not a good candidate nothing he can do about it and the reality of when the reality comes to forefront that is exactly what's going on so stop this whole oh, oh i'm overweight and i like him. no 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 it's all about procreation science biology it's all about procreation it's not just that they're attracted it's about procreation and procreation says this is what's attractive a very healthy body let me repeat that healthy skin healthy teeth healthy nails healthy body healthy waist size healthy proportion 
waist to hips, that whole that whole thing. It's all subconscious, it's all biological. It's not something made up. It's not something, uh, uh, some social construct. What you're trying to do is to create a social construct that man should be. Okay, so you don't bring anything to the table, but you have these unrealistic lists about men. Where are you getting these lists? You're getting it from Hollywood. Yes, even in Australia. Our, one of our chief exports of the United States is our entertainment industry. Worldwide. We have an entire segment of ha saying how successful a movie is based on domestic sales and foreign sales. There are a lot of movies that don't even sell that great in the United States, but they kill overseas. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. You all have this inflated ego from Hollywood. You think that the girl on the movie, in the movie, who wakes up at four o'clock and does two to three hours of workout with a personal trainer is you. But you're not willing to do any of the work that, that the actress did. Not even close. You, 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 in, in fact, there's whole memes and quotes and posters talking about how, oh, I'll just give up. Let me go eat ice cream. So you have this uh, perfect storm in Australia and New Zealand where men are not enough for women. There are not enough men for women. Let's add on to that. The women's unrealistic view of themselves and what they bring to the table. But hold on. I kept talking about in the United States. I think I like to think the United States a little bit more civilized than the rest of the world as far as what I'm about to say. I kept talking about you can make tons of money uh, by doing manual labor, by, do, by, by doing blue collar work, you know, being a carpenter, plumber, blah, 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 blah. Here's an extra added bonus to uh, less men in Australia and New Zealand, the unrealistic view of a self importance of women in Australia and New Zealand. Let's tack on to that status. Women are supposed to be broke and poor. That's supposed to be their lot in life, right? So a broken poor woman uh, has no compunction about herself being broken poor. And so then she then reaches out for a man with status. It's not just a man with money, but a man with status. So, all of my videos in the United States talking about uh, men without status but who make $100,000 a year falls on complete deaf ears in Australia and New Zealand. Why is that? Because they want a man with status. He can't just make $100,000, $150,000, $200,000 uh, Australian a dollar. He can't be, can't be. He has to have status in three hundred thousand dollars a year at the minimum. Well, how much do you make? Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm a woman. I'm broke. I make twenty thousand dollars a year. That that doesn't matter. I'm a woman. Unfortunately, that is no longer true. It, the what the, the overall statistic now. Women under thirty make more money than men under 30, 35. Women under 35 make more money than men under 35. So now if you have this idea that the man has to make more than you, that mean, that really discounts men who, if they had followed all of my uh, financial videos, could be wealthy in uh, five years. They could be worth half a million. They could be worth a million in several years. Half a million, a million in several years. By following not just my savings plan, but my investment uh, videos, all of that stuff. So these women who have this overblown self-image 
are throwing away men who for all intents and purposes could be rich. And what's funny is uh, in Australia, I believe it's the north where all the men make the money, but they're blue collar. They all work in the mines or something like that. The towns around there uh, make a killing because they make so much money, the towns can charge all. It's just like in North Dakota here in the United States where the, the oil is. The towns charge like you know a thousand dollars a night for for a hotel for motels. <laughs> Why? Because the people there can afford to pay it. Instead of it being a rinky-dink place where you know people can make make a killing on the money and then keep it because the local area has a, uh, a lower standard of living, no, the uh, local area is selling uh, million-dollar homes for one bedroom. <laughs> That's in the United States. Uh, so l let me let me be very clear. Uh, now they're freaking out. Why? Because people are now giving projections as to, well, you think it's bad now, it's going to get worse. It's going to get worse to the point where either you accept these men who make $200,000 a year and work blue collar and don't have a status, uh, and or maybe they're shorter and maybe they're whatever, uh, it's going to get worse because men are going to, uh, men are uh, dying out. So the top, the top tier of men, the, 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 Older men are going to die out, and it's going to be 20 to 1, 100 to 1, 200 to 1. Because that's what's going on. Be because of the way the uh, behavior of the women in those areas, uh, and they all want the top tier, we're talking about the 1%, right? 1% starts at $333,000 a year. So the top 1% in those areas are all going to be taken, first of all. And all of the and 1% of men are going to only date and marry the 1% of women. So if you're not in the 1%, I'm sorry to tell you that you need to have a reality check. And please don't import that over into the United States because uh, we have something called freedom and then and the biggest freedom is the freedom to sue. What am I talking about? A lot of these laws created do aren't uh, legal under our constitution. You have a different constitution over there. They can get away with all sorts of crazy stuff over there but it, it it won't fly over here so anyway thank you uh australia get it together i don't know why 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 this happening why this is happening a lot of the stuff that you all have implemented in what sweden uh, all of these places does not work under the constitution of the united states people can't sue uh, can you imagine if if restaurants called brought a buff uh, just call on themselves to charge men 15% more. How many lawsuits? Anyway, the restaurant is under lawsuit. There's been complaints about the restaurants uh, charging more for men. They're already under complaint and uh, their license are in question and they're, they're under review by the review board for the licensing anyway. So don't think you, you got away with it, what, a, a month, maybe a year? I don't, I don't know when that started. Uh, well, you're, you're already, a, I'm here to tell you. You're under review. It's going to be over. Thank you all for watching. Like the video. My power's off, so I have no lighting. This is this is it. This is me uh, recording on my phone uh, through uh, sunlight.